Hello, my name's Iron, and this is Iron's Tech. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to quickly talk about um, something I picked up from a shop near me. Um, it's an upgrade to something I was using before due to just needing a bit more space and organization. Um, so to start the story off, I have been using this little relatively small Corduca fabric bag to carry around my cables and adapters and the bits and bobs and for about three years it's done me well um, but recently I've been thinking I should get a new one as it was very full it was bulging and you know very very full of all my cables and bits and bobs um, and so I'd been you know as I'd been walking around shops and just doing about my business I've just been looking around for something and I saw one the other day and that is another Corduca fabric bag which is substantially bigger and bulkier. Good you got. Um, it says on this side, Altna. I do not know if these are sold outside of Japan. I had a quick look on Amazon.com. I couldn't really find anything. Um, but these Koduka fabric things have done me well. This little one has lasted me a long time. I still plan to use it sometimes for if I need to carry a smaller amount of wires or something i might use it for like ipad accessories I suppose i could store some kind of game console in here i'm not really sure but i'll think of something for that one on to the new one this one is somewhat tougher the material's thicker it's got lots of storage space for all the things out here i have a little pocket out here i have nothing in there right now um but it's kind of padded I don't know if you can see that and there's like soft padding material inside there um, yeah, it's a nice bag, nice and tough. I'm gonna open it up and show you what I've got inside here. Um, this is gonna be all the things I would generally carry around with me from day to day. So in the first one, this is like a padded, again, like a padded pocket type thing. Uh, in here I have a little battery. This is in case my iPhone 13 mini runs out, which has only ever happened once, actually. Um, this is a 5,000 milliamp battery, and it's great. It'll charge my phone up, you know, at least once more, once it runs out, keep me going for a bit longer. So that's my battery in there. I also have these on my old Audio-Technica headphones. These are Bluetooth headphones, which connect via a neck brace thing. I might do a review on these at some point. Um, they are rather old now though, and they're more of a backup pair of headphones to my Soundcore earbuds and my Soundcore Q30s that I use most of the time. Um, so that's the first pouch. Let's have a look. And the next one, which I consider the main compartment here. So in this main compartment, nice zip, I feel good. You've got all these things in here. So let's start over here. I have got some little pocket with some memory pens in here. Uh, I can use these things to have older versions of OS on them. I can put Sometimes you, you can't, especially on older MacBooks, you cannot reinstall OS from, from the internet online. You have to install them from a, a little pen drive. So I've got some of those. There's also some slightly bigger ones with backups of photos and other important information on. This one is a verbatim one. I also have all kinds of cables. I've got USB-C to Lightning. I've got USB-C to USB-C. I've got an older, what is this? Let's have a I've got HDMI to, this is the older Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt sorry, cable. I use this with my old MacBook Air. Um, that just, again, it just slots nicely in there, stops it moving around. All these little elasticated ties hold everything down nicely. Over this side, there's not a lot in here. I have my, this is my USB-A to USB-C. I'm sorry, USB-A to Lightning adapter is the one I've got here. Um, so I'd use that for my iPad if I want to connect it to an audio interface or a MIDI input device, a MIDI keyboard would connect through an iPad to an iPad through this one. And I've got the classic lightning to headphone jack for the new iPhones, which do not have headphone jacks anymore. In here, I've just noticed, usually I would actually have my USB-C to HDMI adapter. Um, it's currently not here because I was using it for something the other day and I think I might have it 
down here next to me. Let's have a little look. Ah, uh, you do. It is currently right here. So I'll add that back. So I just put it in like so. Um, I would rather keep it in here than in one of my laptop cases because if I happen to take the other laptop out with me, I will suddenly not have one of these adapters ready. Um, I'll talk about what I carry in the laptop bags in a moment separately. So if I flip this across and then have a whole load more stuff, um, I have some one of these little mini jack cables. I've got three of those, in fact, which may be slight overkill, but you never know. You might need them for something. You've got this little zippy pocket. Uh, and here I have, again, some adapters. I've got, what's this one? HDMI to, I believe that's micro HDMI. It's very small, either way. I believe this one is an adapter that would work with my old Windows netbook that I have. Um, again, I, it's just in case, I have it just in case. And then I also have, that's a small stereo jack to large stereo jack and um, like a jack extender in there as well. And over to the final pocket over here, I have some USB-C, to micro USB-C, I've got USB, actually so that's USB-A to micro USB. I've got another one of those here. That is USB-C to USB-A. And that is USB-C to USB-A again. And that is USB-C to Lightning. So probably more cables than I need. Um, but I have found these come in handy at work, you know, going around. People will often be asking, have you got a cable? Have you got this cable and that cable? And, you know, having them here is very useful. I never find myself without a certain cable. And then I have this tucked in here as well. This thing is brilliant. This is, I made a whole separate video about this. This is my 65 watt U green uh, power adapter. Um, it has USB-C, USB-C and USB-A on there as well. And um, with it being 65 watts, it charges things really quickly. Um, I can charge my MacBook and an iPad at the same time if I want. If I really want to go crazy, I can charge MacBook, iPad and my phone as well. Um, although if you do that, it will charge a little bit slower. Um, but yeah, this, this is the little bag I've purchased and it's doing me quite well. I mean, this, this was about $20, I think it would work out at, something like that, um, for this little bag. And it, it's, been, it's been very good. It's nice to have everything nicely organized. It's not all squashed up together like it was in this old one. Uh, I'm gonna zip it back up together. It's got nice, strong, solid zippers on here too with these nice plastic things to hold on to. And it's got a little strap if I just wanted to carry it around by itself. Yeah, it's a great little bag. Um, again, anything with this Corduca fabric label on is, is made to be very tough. I found they do last very well. They don't really wear down. This, this old one I've been using for about three years is still in very, very good condition. Very tough, very strong. I just wanted a bigger one. So those are my accessory carry bags. Um, in terms of the laptop, um, this is my M1 MacBook Air case that again I've had for about three years. Um, in here I only like to carry things that I use specifically with the MacBook Air. Um, and in here I have, this is USB-C to USB-A. And I also have my SSD from Alicom, it's a 250 gig SSD. Um, just those two I just lost in there. If I take any computer other than my MacBook Air, I generally won't want to use those things. Um, like my 12 inch MacBook has enough storage available on it to not need the SSD. And I also have the adapter in this bag, which I can use to connect USB-C to USB-A if I want to, the big white one that I put back in. Um, and then if I carry around the 12 inch MacBook, I generally do not put it in a case because it's so light and I want to keep it that way. And so having this with me all the time means if I do need an adapter or any kind of wire or cable or whatever I need, it's in here. So great little bag. Uh, again, not sure if you can pick them up outside Japan. I'm sure there are some similar ones. Um, it's just really nice to have everything organized and together. So yeah, once again, thank you for listening to this. Um, my name is Iron. This has been Iron's Tech. 
and thank you very much again.